Um, where do you stand on being an investor? And then I want to get to some of your picks. Sure. Came into the year, I was full guns blazing. I thought it'd be a front-loaded year. Stocks go up at least 15 to 20% with an outside shot at 30. End of July, I tempered a lot of my enthusiasm. I'm like, look, got some cracks in the uh, in the rally. A lot of bears went from super bears to neutral. Some even turned positive. That was a pretty much a yellow light for me to look for a pullback. In every strong bull market, that five, down 5% line is the first point where you go. If you're a bull, you say, look, we're down 5%. Many of the strongest bull market declines stop at down 5%. You got to be keenly aware at down 5 which you were at the end of last week. The past weeks have been pretty tough for Tesla, and the stock price has also been in a series of upward and downward trends. Fortunately, Tesla stock price has gained value recently and is scaling back up into the positives. The recent surge in Tesla's stock price is not surprising, and it shouldn't be for anyone who's been keeping tabs on the leading automaker. Lately, Tesla's been making significant efforts to ramp up its car production, and even more, it's been dishing out some rather interesting updates, all of which make us believe that Tesla and its investors will have a very profitable season ahead of them for the rest of the year. Today's video is going to focus on a very interesting update for Tesla and its investors, and anyone else who plans on buying Tesla shares either for the short or long term. This update brings to light some very important aspects of Tesla's business, one that has the potential to change up the game for Tesla. Tesla bears are yet to recognize the magnitude of this venture, and we hope it's not too late before they do so. We're talking Tesla had a big jump of 10% in yesterday's session, giving up a, a little bit of those gains uh, today, just down slightly, still up uh, over 120% on the year. Kevin, when you look at this company, it was based on the big upgrade mm -hmm. yesterday out of Morgan Stanley. We discussed that on the show. But now you're starting to get to levels where, you know, price cuts, margins, you start talking about the fundamental side of this business. and. You know, the Morgan Stanley analyst was going on and on about their AI capabilities moving forward. Dojo supercomputer? <laughs> yes. Uh, did, did anyone really know what this was? Yeah. They I, did. I really didn't. I was of all the things you read about yeah. about Tesla, I don't I don't remember Dojo Supercomputer being right at the tip of everyone's tongue. I think he came out with some projections on yeah. what it could mean for their business. Right, and their ability to get full uh, full service driving mm -hmm. quicker and better mm -hmm. and you know big you know think about this there someone mentioned 10 trillion dollar market fit cap on Tesla yeah and it's always been I say it on this show a lot the the pipeline you know it's what is in the pipeline that what does Elon Musk have in his pipeline we haven't even gotten the cyber truck yet mm -hmm. Robo taxi ro yeah. You know, I say it all the time. There's so many things that could take this company higher. I, I, you know, it's hard to it's hard to fathom. Tesla recently rallied to its highest share price in more than a month, following an upgrade from Morgan Stanley touting a non-vehicle revenue stream, which could justify a more than one trillion dollar market capitalization for the automaker. The spike came after Morgan Stanley analysts, led by Adam Jonas changed their rating for the electric vehicle stock from a hold to buy, raising their price target from $250 to $400. Morgan Stanley has been quite a dedicated follower of Tesla, and has also made some pretty notable statements about the car company, constantly highlighting the highly positive and negative aspects of the company. Interestingly, this firm has become even more bullish on Tesla, and this time it's not just about the cars. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Morgan Stanley has often emphasized the long-term growth potential for Tesla. The firm has also recognized the automaker's ambitious goals in terms of vehicle production, battery tech, and energy storage. It's also praised Tesla's leadership in the EV market and its potential to expand globally. Although Morgan Stanley has not ceased to reveal conditions and concerns about the growing competition and the likelihood of EVs supplies, superseding demand in the near future, it does still note that Tesla has consistently proven itself to be a formidable player in the automotive industry. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. The main reason behind Morgan Stanley's upgrade was its optimism for Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, which Jonas estimated could add up to $500 billion in enterprise value for Tesla. Note that Tesla currently has a market capitalization of about $800 billion. 
According to Morgan Stanley analyst Dojo, Tesla's artificial intelligence technological network, which is primarily designed to train itself driving vehicles, using data from video captured from the cars, this could all help Tesla to extend well beyond just selling vehicles at a fixed price and become a power player in the lucrative software-as-a-service market. Tesla recently disclosed that its long-awaited Dojo supercomputer, which is supposed to bring its self-driving effort to a new level, was finally going into production in July. The custom-built supercomputer is expected to elevate Tesla's capacity to train neural nets using video data, which is critical to the computer vision technology powering its self-driving effort. Whilst the automaker already has a large NVIDIA GPU-based supercomputer that is one of the most powerful in the world, the new Dojo custom-built computer uses chips and an entire infrastructure designed by Tesla. There is also a lot of hidden potential in this latest venture for Tesla, and it seems like Morgan Stanley is starting to realize this. At Tesla's AI Day in 2021, the company unveiled its Dojo supercomputer, although the automaker was still ramping up its efforts at the time. Tesla only had its first chip and training tiles, and was still working on building a full Dojo cabinet and cluster. A year later, at the same AI Day, Tesla unveiled some progress on Dojo, including having a full system tray. At the time, the automaker was talking about having a full cluster by the first quarter of 2023. But this didn't come into fruition as the first quarter of the year came and went without any news of Dojo becoming operational. Interestingly, after so long, Tesla finally shared an update on Dojo via its Tesla AI Twitter account, with news of the imminent production of the supercomputer. The Dojo supercomputer has been built from the ground up by Tesla and is focused on pure machine learning, meaning that it isn't backwards compatible with existing products on the market, which has been specially designed to power the next generation of AI-based tech. With Dojo, Tesla is expected to finally be able to take full advantage of its extremely large database of real-world driving scenarios, which it's been accumulating through millions of vehicles for years now. Not only will this be Tesla's road, to full autonomy, it will also be an opportunity to grow revenue massively. In the future, Tesla will be making money from cars, FSD licensing, superchargers, robo-taxis, robots, energy, and even insurance. Already, Tesla is starting to make waves in the insurance business, although in a recent study, Tesla's pioneering use of advanced telematics and assigning insurance risk may disrupt the insurance industry just as much as the company's already done with the global automotive markets. While many traditional insurance companies are raising rates for Tesla car owners or refusing to cover Tesla cars at all, Tesla is offering its own insurance in selected US states at significantly lower prices compared to competition. Now, Tesla entered the insurance market in 2019 based on some of the feedback of its customers, and they were seeing much higher insurance costs for their Teslas versus what they would get with a normal car. And since then, it's stayed committed to offering the best insurance services available for its cars. While other insurance companies, such as Progressive and State Farm, use third-party telematics devices or mobile apps to gauge insurance risk, None is as comprehensive as the sensors and software included in Tesla's. This latest study on Tesla's insurance business suggests the automaker's success in the insurance market may exert price pressure on other insurers to compete, and it may even provide incentive for other automakers to begin offering insurance policies as well. Likewise, whatever it turns out, both companies will provide downward pressure on the cost to insure Teslas and other electric vehicles. If Tesla's insurance business continues to grow and the automaker also expands all of its other businesses, think of how much Tesla will be making in just a few years from now. It's going to be phenomenal. We'd like to know your thoughts, so let us know down below. For more updates on Tesla, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.